Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of May 16th, 2022. And we have four stories for you this week. The first one is a follow-up to the Red Bull plane swap where the pilot certificates have been revoked. We'll also do a follow-up on the China Eastern Airline. There's been more data that suggests that, well, this was a, an intentional crash, unfortunately. Uh, we also will look at a Cessna that crashed on the Miami Bridge in some pretty incredible footage and sad. And then lastly, we'll talk about the Droby EV tall that meets noise targets. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is the FAA has revoked the pilot certificates for both the Red Bull pilots that were involved in the plane swap event. Uh, that was a live event. We've talked about this before. I'm sure you've heard about it. Uh, they were also fined uh, $4,932 for the stunt. Uh, they knew that they weren't supposed to go fly. They decided to go fly anyway. And then, uh, then the FAA found out. And of course, the FAA was not happy. And then they issued a fine. And they revoked their certificate for a year, which is something similar of what we've seen with uh, the other guy that flew from his aircraft and uh, parachuted down and crashed his aircraft. The FAA said in a statement, the attempted stun resulted in the crash of one of the two single engine 182 aircraft. The lead pilot requested an exemption for the stunt from the FAA, which the agency denied. So if you want more information, we'll put a link down in here, but I think this might be the end of this chapter and uh, we'll see what happens in a year. I'm sure they will be reapplying for their certificate and there's gonna be a bunch of things that they have to do. The next story is a follow-up as well on the China Eastern Airline crash. This happened a couple months ago now. And uh, there's been reports that state that the preliminary data from the aircraft crash, from the data that they recovered, showed that it was an intentional act by someone at the control of the aircraft. Uh, China Eastern had stated that the pilot's health, their family condition, and the financial situation were very good for the pilot. So there was no reason to believe that that's what uh, they, well, that they would intentionally crash the aircraft to commit suicide uh, and that they said that the cockpit intrusion was not a possibility. So at this state, the China Civil Aviation Authority has not uh, released any cause for the aircraft, but people that are in the U.S. that are uh, investigating the accident said that the data showed from the black box that the aircraft responded to control input from the flight deck. So I'm sure we will hear more when some of the data becomes available, but at this stage, it really looks like this was intentional. And the next story is a crash on a Miami bridge. This happened earlier this week, and there is incredible footage. Actually, somebody was flying a drone at the time, very close to the uh, to the bridge, and they were able to capture uh, what happened after the crash. You can see the airplane actually catching on fire. You can see the pilot and one of the passenger getting out. Uh, unfortunately, the word got out a few days later that uh, one of the passenger uh, passed from the accident, uh, somebody who may have gotten stuck inside of the aircraft uh, after it caught on fire. So uh, this is really tragic. Uh, they hit uh, an SUV. Uh, there was a mother with two toddlers on board of the SUV. Uh, they were transported to the hospital for evaluation, but it seems like uh, they were okay. Uh, like I said, the footage is pretty incredible and, and extremely scary in a sense. Um, and um, yeah, this is this is a bit of a sad story. And the last story this week, Joby has been doing uh, testing of their EV tall uh, for noise levels. Uh, they were able to capture 45.2 dBA uh, from an altitude of 500 meters at 100 knots. Uh, NASA is interesting in this information because they're creating noise profiles for different types of aircraft, including EV tall. This will help them better map out what the noise maps are going to be in the future when more of these EV tolls are going to be flying around. So I think this is an interesting project. Uh, if you're not familiar, actually, around the airports, they have to do noise studies and, uh, and figure out exactly how much noise is going to be close to houses specifically. And I think this is something that, um, well, NASA and regulators are probably very interested in to make sure that the noise level stay as low as possible with the increase of EV toll aircraft. So that's it. That's all we have for you this week. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, and we'll talk to you next week.